<laughs> All right, we're trying something again. This this is maybe the third or fourth or first time we're trying this. First time, first time we're trying this organic. So we've come up with, we shared some words of wisdom. Never, ever record more than once. Try again. You can't try and capture that magic again. Because we've been trying to capture the magic again. James's suggestion is what he would like me to do is he would like me to have an, an honest and authentic reaction of surprise to the thing that we're trying to stage. Yeah. So could the first time, it was great because it was a reaction. I need to do that. So wait for it. And scene. I wasn't, I wasn't on the edge of my seat the first time. Well, you're about to be. Um, we started watching this video, um, and it wasn't very fun. We got bored because we have very short attention spans. I was worried when I saw five minutes, and five minutes doesn't sound like a long time, but then I also know what me and you are like, and us sitting quietly watching... A sophisticated video for five minutes. <laughs> Did, I just wasn't expecting it to go very well. Yeah. All right. So we we off with the head for the first video. What's the second video? Second video. Uh, here we go. I feel like I feel like this is going to be right there in the name. What this one's going to be about. But let's watch it. I think we have to turn the music off because I reckon we get the algorithms. I, um, why do I feel like we're watching a music video? Well, it seems like a live performance would be my guess. Oh, the fan incident. Okay, yeah. Oh, this one's four minutes too. Oh, no. Yeah, this one looks like... I imagine the fan incident happens... In a short a bit. Is that the fan incident? Is it um his fancy dancing? That is real fancy like I don't think I've ever really watched any tools. Is that a hologram? I don't know. People look look, I'm just watching his knees and the reaction. Like people can't move that way, can they? Is he a ghost? What are you doing? Is he on is he on like a string? Uh, yeah, that's and it seems repetitive too, which is creeped me out. Yeah. Here. I don't know. What? What? The, how is he doing that? I missed that. I just saw you take it off. <laughs> Like, I wonder how long it takes him to notice when he's looking like this dude doing fucking weird shit. He's doing like single leg. Like, how's he doing that? It's got to be a hologram. That's what all those projectors are for, surely. You reckon? He, uh, he might just be channeling Elvis Presley. But how did they get the hologram to do it? Uh, CGI. Oh. Yeah, I, just... oh, I must admit, now that, now that my attention span is doing exactly what my attention span does, the 10 worst unskippable cut things you'll see, the 10 most unsettling horror games that make sound scary. I feel like you might need to fast forward this a little bit just so you can get to the bit where something happens with the band. Yeah. Well, it's not, it's not, well, it's not, we've almost made it through. It's not a hologram, though, because the lights just went off. Well, here we go. Something's going on. Party, party. Give him a hug. Whoa! 
Oh, is he putting him out? He's out. Oh, no, is he out? I think he's, he might be. Nah. I mean, he might be out now. He's fighting. Oh, no, he's fighting it. And fade to black. Are they trying to recreate what this fan is seeing? <laughs> oh, boy. What? Is he still singing? Oh, he's back! Now who's happened? What happened to... Is it James Keenan? Is that, na is that the guy's name? I feel, like, I feel like he's got a three name. Maybe it's Maynard James Keenan. Is that the guy's name? Guy's got him. He's still on the ground. Yeah, so there's another guy. Well, he's just holding him out. He choked him out, and then he got mount, and the guy's woken up, disorientated, and a little bit scared, because it's very scary when someone chokes you unconscious. <laughs> it's also scary when you wake up and you're in a darkened room and a bald man that looks like he's covered in body paint is straddling you. <laughs> you mean, he's not in a darkened room. He's on a stage in front of people. Yeah, but it would be that, like the, the, the room is dark. I guess. But yeah. Yeah, there you go. I was close to his name. Um, but he, it looks like he's wearing a bra. He might be. Look at that middle image. I don't know if that's him. Huh? It looks like he's wearing. I don't think he's wearing a coconut bra. <laughs> Can you imagine? You're up your gut during a concert. You've been like you. You got up on stage. You're up to no good. Next thing you know, you're asleep. Then you wake up and a man in a coconut. Definitely. Yeah, but you, you realise that this has gone to a different screen now. Oh, for you guys. Mine hasn't. Well, the dude with the coconut bikini in the middle, like, that's completely unrelated to the video we just watched. No, but the video we just watched, it looked like he had a bra on as well. What? That's what I mean. Like, that would be very good. Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. If you, if you get on, like, I don't have that much sympathy. You've jumped on stage at someone else's performance. Oh, like, I don't know sympathy for him. I just think, like, I did, but, like, it's just a very, very, that whole video is very strange. I, I like the, the hug into the hip toss. Yeah, it, mine was a bit jumpy, so oh. what I saw was, like, dude, come on stage, then do the relationship. Oh, okay, yeah, so it looked like, the guy got on stage, and from what I saw, yeah. it looked like he went to give him a hug. And then when they were in a hug, he turned that into a throw. It might have just been yeah, right. that he was going for the throw, but it certainly looked like he did the old sneak attack. Like, hey, man, give yeah. me a hug. And then, whoa, boom. And then he immediately took his back and choked him out. The guy was like, I get it. You're on stage and this crazy person has jumped, jumped on stage with you. Yeah. Listen. Hooligan, but seems excessive. But I, I, like, I appreciate the hug throw. If that was what it was doing, it's like, come on, give me a hug, whoa, bam! I I did appreciate that that turn of events. Yeah, judo. Because I know um, he's a, he's at least a purple belt in jiu-jitsu, so he, like he knows what he's doing as well. Yeah, maybe it's an issue, Gary. I don't know about Gary. I just make up. Oh, what his issue is, but I don't think that's what happened. Uh, yeah, well, that was... That was a roller coaster. Yeah, I was like, what's going on? Like, we spent the first two minutes trying to work out whether it was fucking hologram or not. Yeah, well, his legs were weird. That that weirded me out. Yeah. Alright, let's look at the next video. Human body. Should be able to. Now, this one's 24 seconds, so this person knows how to cater things to our attention span. Yeah. Still a little. I already, and I already, I already like the look of what's going on here. This is going to be my hat. From now on, all future videos, maybe never again, this hat is going to be how um, excited I am to thumbnail the video. So when you, when you get excited, you put the, you put the hat on.
when I'm getting excited, I put the hat on. When I lose interest, I take the hat off. Let's call that hat Jimmy's Jimmy. Because when you get excited, Jimmy puts his Jimmy on. Yeah, yes. Yeah. You do is, is picture yourself shaking salt on top of your tongue. Oh, yeah. And tell me if you taste any salt. Oh, I guess I'm going to put salt on my tongue. Yeah, just, just pull that tongue and shake, shake the salt on top of your tongue. Yeah. <laughs> taste any salt? <laughs> uh, so what's it like sucking dick? <laughs> It was a little bit long and it was a little bit mature for my tastes, but apart from that. <laughs> I keep the hat on. That's, it, that's the end of our videos, my friend. Hey? That's the end of our videos. I, I, I think we should have a wild card. Wild card? Alright. Yeah. I'll give you a wild card. Hey. Give me... I, know, I know you've got stuff lined up. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Any, anybody wonder what Matt searches for on the internet? Smells like Teen Spirit, myself, Submission Underground 13, and a lot of smells like Teen Spirit. I watched The Gentleman the other day. Yeah, any good? Yeah, yeah, like it was. It was good. You know those movies that you know it's good, but I wasn't that interested? Yeah. Because it was like... Have you obviously like Snatch and Lockstock? Mm. So it was a Guy Ritchie one. It had that kind of vibe. And it was really interesting and a really well-made movie. I think I'm just over movies. Yeah, I don't, I don't watch any of them anymore. I watch, the, I watch TV series a lot. Well, it was a, it was a really um, awesome movie that I would recommend to people that I probably won't watch again. Yeah. <laughs> well, you look for the power cord for the other thing, Spirit. You're trying to play that. No. Nah. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I don't know why. I think that must have been a mistake. Mm. Like, I might have clicked it by accident. Because I was trying to get Post Malone. It's cover of. Oh, okay. Since I was like Teen Spirit. Yeah, he did a. Who else did he do a cover of the other day that everybody was like getting all bent out of shape about? Well, he did. He did a um, he did a cover of well he did a whole big thing about um, what should we call him of Nirvana, so I assume that's what people got up to. Ah, yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is what you wanted to see. Well, could we this whole thing. Oh, and I and I saw a two minute version. We don't need the ten minute version. Yeah, we don't. Well, honestly though, like you don't need. You don't need to watch anything other than the first 30 seconds of this fight. Yoshihiro! Yoshihiro! Are you ready? Give me his name. <laughs> I, want, I, I want your reaction. I'll be quiet because I've seen this a few times. I love hearing, I love hearing the presenters too, uh, like Asian presenters, people's name. Pride had the best, um, intros. This dude's like seven foot something. Yoshihiro Takayama! <laughs> I feel like I'm watching Dragon Ball Z, but in real life. I feel like I'm watching Freddie Mercury fight Goku. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. oh. I just love the like each of them having a single collar tie, just bar room, bar room like cracking it the side. <laughs> let's just let's just hit each other and see which one falls down first. <laughs> the 
whole strategy, Captain. It's amazing how memory works. Like, in my head, I remember them coming out, like hitting each other for 30 seconds and the fight being over. So it obviously was a 10 minute fight. And this is just the highlights. Hmm. Maybe you just watched the highlights last time and you saw it really quickly. Probably. <laughs> It is one of the, like, it's one of the sad things about MMA. Maybe not sad thing about MMA, but a lot of people got into MMA when there was much more fights like this. Like, this yeah. is not the same level of, of, of skill battle as you see some of the fights today. But, like, you don't see fights. Like, people like watching things like this. It's a little bit more like, oh, let's just see what, that's what happens when two guys that are really tough, they've got some skills, go at it. Yeah, well, like, look at football, look at any sport now. Like, you look at footy in the 80s and 90s, and it was all, like, mullets and punch-ups, and now it's, like, you still get the occasional mullet and tattoo punch-up artists, but it's, just, like, it's just a heap of super mm. athletes. Yeah, this is why I, I understand nostalgia. Hmm. He does look, like, kind of like a pretty mercury. I don't know. I don't. I don't see it. It's just that he has a mustache. But everyone had a mustache back then. Yeah, yeah. But then I like. I've seen him in a lot more stuff. Like I see him in his cowboy boots and hat. So I, I have a cowboy vibe, <laughs> which again could be Freddie Mercury. Yeah, <laughs> well, he certainly had some apples, chat. <laughs> oh wow, that took me a while. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Are we done? Oh, you got your eye on. Yeah. Wild card? Hmm. Wild card was well, the highest. Yeah, wild card is my favourite. I think if we've learned anything from this is that we really can't trust uh, followers. Um, and we're just going to ignore them in the future. And I'll just put the video I want to watch up. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we would like to actively discourage uh, participation and engagement, really. Chicago. All I see is Catherine Zeta Jones. <laughs> I can guess. James's? <laughs> J Jimmy's sex draw. Jimmy's special place. You know, I don't ask questions I don't want the answer to, so. Alright, well, let's go do our. We go, we've had our fun. Let's go do our meeting and do our responsible things for the day, I guess. Boring. Okay. Uh, peace out.